Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers. Bab, what is your problem? Honestly, this is what I'm dealing with. This is this is what I'm dealing with. This. Right? You. You are a problem right now. If you see the cats in the background, just like this video because I'm having to record this video with the cats in the background and it's a bit annoying, okay? Thank you. 90% of people end up giving up in the first two or three months. Now, if you don't give up, you're probably going to be the exception. You know what I mean? So stop messing about with a laptop. So if you don't give up and you are consistent, then you will be that 10, 15% of people that are just consistent. Because let's be honest, man, like a lot of people will just end up giving up. And even for myself, the thing that sort of puts me in a separate box compared to a lot of people is the fact that I just don't give up as such. I just carry on, you know? And it's not to say that you shouldn't give up at some point. Yes, there's always a time when giving up makes more sense than continuing to work on your hustles. Having said that, it's not in the second month and it's not in the third month. In fact, I would say work on your business and your hustles in the first year at least before you even think about is this really working? And I think that's very important because a lot of people in three, six, seven months will start asking themselves, well, is this working? That question, that thought, nothing should cross your mind in the first year. If you've committed to working on, stop messing up with the lights. If you have committed on your business, then you should work on that business for a year. That's my belief. I think a year, a minimum, you should be working on your business. If you're going to start a business, I'm referring to the business as the vehicle, you need to make sure it's the right one. So if it's a restaurant or it's a cafe, you have a limit to how many products you can sell every single day in a month. And so you're capped at how much money you can make from that one branch and that one cafe or that one restaurant. But if it's a product or it's a service online, then you're not necessarily capped because it doesn't have, well, it's not physical. If it's not physical, you don't need to keep it in a warehouse. You can keep it on, well, the internet. And obviously you can sell it easily as well because by the click of a finger, someone can have it and have access to it. So again, these are the sort of things that you need to bear in mind. Physical products are great. It's not to say that physical products aren't great. And in fact, you can scale them. But what I would say is you want to have online to be some sort of a part of your business. And by the way, that could just be social media. Just your product being, for example, you know, you're selling clothes. Social media will help you sell more clothes. It could be a pencil case, but social media will help you sell that pencil case. And so whatever it is, the point I'm making is the internet does help you make sure no matter what you're doing, you are focusing on getting your product in front of people. Now, how you're going to do that is obviously, you know, social media, running ads, SEO searches, whatever that is, but that is the main part of your business. And I think in today's day and age, if you are marketing well, if you are marketing well, you are the top 10%. And by that, social media, running Google ads, you know, influencer marketing, uh, SEO searches, there are many ways, you know, running campaigns, posters, whatever you can do, whatever you can do, just do it and get your product, get your services in front of as many people as possible. Because remember this one line, if your product is the best product in the world, but not any nobody is seeing it, nobody's buying. And if your product's the worst product in the world, but everyone sees it, a good portion of those people will buy your product and see the sort of people. And I'll, and I'll give you guys an example of this. Remember those TV ads where, you know, some woman or some man was selling a necklace or selling a hoover or selling some machine that would make you lose weight? Let's be honest, a lot of the times we knew in the back of our heads that that product or that service isn't the best. But how many times were we tempted to buy? We were tempted. Some people bought. My mother bought some things. But the point is that you are tempted to buy because you're seeing the product and you might just need that product or service in your life. So marketing is essential. Do right marketing. Make sure your marketing is on point. And yes, you will be that top 10%. When your business gets to a certain point, you need to employ the right people. It's impossible for you to make a crazy amount of money if you haven't got the right team in place. 
anyone in business will tell you, you need to have employees and good employees to make a lot of money. You can make a million pound by yourself, but you're going to struggle to make 50 or 100 million pounds if you don't have the right team. And well, look, it's to say you can make a million pound by yourself, but if you really want to grow and if you really want to have, you know, the fast growth and you want to be motivated by other people, having a team is essential. So take time to interview the people you're going to interview. Skills can be taught. Things that they have done in the past, you know, these things that they have on the CVs, they can be taught. But I'll tell you what can't be taught. And that's personality and that's sort of the motivation and that's character. Character cannot be taught. It can change. It can definitely change, but it can't be taught. And so make sure the people you are bringing onto your team and your business have character. And I'll add something to this. And I think this is important in business. And actually, in our community, take that as you wish, these things aren't really taught. If your business is 100% and if you are, you know, making 100,000 or 200,000 pounds a year, it does not harm to give away 3 4% of your business to bring someone in, to entice someone to come into the business and grow the business. Because maybe you can't pay them, you know, a competitive salary compared to someone else, but you can give away 3 or 4%. 3 or 4% and that person bringing in, you know, 10, 15% or 20% more business into your you know, company, it does help. And so don't think to yourself that, you know, you should be selfish with the percentages you give away. I think, especially in the beginning, if you don't have the funds, if you don't have the money, you should be open to the idea of three, four, five, six percent maybe to someone, you know, let's say someone's looking for 40,000 pounds a year. Look, I can afford 30,000 pounds a year. Having said that, I will give you 4% of the business. And that means they will make 4% dividends. You know, if we sell the company and we at some point do want to sell the company, then you will obviously get your 4%. And just to add, I would say that always think big because a lot of people go into business and they just, they're like, we just want to survive. Most people just want to survive in business. They don't want to make a lot of money. So survival shouldn't be the main thing that you're thinking about. You should be thinking, how can I make 50, 60, 70, 100,000 pounds a month or even more, five, 600,000 pounds a month. You, I mean, think about this. Do you think the people that make 500,000 pounds a month make 500,000 pounds a month thinking that they were going to make 5,000 pounds a month? No, like they had things in place. They had employees, they had a team. They thought, oh, well, if we sell our product or service this many times, we're going to make this much. And so we need to market it this way and we need to do this to make that money. So if you think to yourself, you want your business to make three, four or five thousand pounds a month, your strategies will be for three, four, five thousand pounds. If you want your business to make five hundred thousand pounds a month, your strategies will be for five hundred thousand pounds a month. It might not work. It might completely fail. That's fine. But the point is your strategies are in place to make that sort of money. You might make £100,000 a month. And well, look, in my book, that's not a bad thing. So it's all about putting the right things in place, making sure your business can actually make that sort of money, putting uh, the right team in place, having the right mentality, having the right mindset and thinking big and make sure consistency wins every single time. But I will end with this. Make dua to Allah Azza wa Jal because making dua is important. And remember, your religion comes first. Your business should bring you closer to your religion, not your business take you away from your religion. Have that in mind. Reflect consistency and make dua to Allah Azza wa Jal. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum wa